After almost 800 years of existence of the Order, there has no document or rather feature film yet produced on the life of St. Dominic de Guzman. Bakit kailangan buhayin ka? After 800 years, ano meron ka na magiging relevant sa buhay namin ngayon? So yung nag-decide nga yung team na ishoot yun doon sa southern France ako sa Spain, uh, natakot ako talaga. Nakakatakot. Isipin pa lang, imaginein pa lang kung ano mangyayari sa amin. Kaya uh, nung start na yun, lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili, sarili ko, let there be light. You see, you have nothing to fear if you believe in your prayers. You have nothing to fear if you believe in your prayers. My inspiration is to have a gift. A gift that I could give to the order as we celebrate the 800 years in 2016. A gift that I could share to the people of God, to the church, so that I can introduce this great man and so that other young people could relate and could draw inspiration from his life. Dominic didn't leave anything in writing about himself, like a diary, like St. Augustine, ano? Pero siya, he was defined by his works, by the people that he met. So talagang he's a man for others. Uh, gusto namin ipakita yung human side ni, ni St. Dominic. Uh, na tao siya. Pumupunta siya, biro mo, naglalakad siya from one place to another to preach, ganyan. Hindi siya madamat na maturuan yung mga villages na nadaanan niya, ganyan. Okay, ready! Okay, ready! Okay, you go full shot, side four. Action! Through the through YouTube, watching their audition piece in YouTube, so that's where we uh, uh, initially casted uh, the role for Dominic. After two years of planning, a small Manila-based production team of 13 members left for Madrid on July 9, 2010. They were to start filming of an international production on one of the most inspiring men in Catholic Church history. The crew was all prepared to shoot in a foreign country, for an ocular inspection was done a year earlier. To convey the right emotion by using this particular light or color or movement, for me, that's the most important thing. Little do they know, that capturing the life of St. Dominic de Guzman on film has more in store and would bring light to their own personal and professional lives as well. Um, the film actually had a lot of um, divine intervention and a lot of inspiration from, maybe we attribute it to Dominic himself. Na nagkaroon kami ng problema sa baterya lang dahil biglang lumamig eh. Bumagsak yung baterya namin. At least nagawa din ng paraan. Pero pinagplanuhan naman namin yan eh. Kung paano yung gagawin dahil nga since uh, tapos kukunti lang kami. Uh, nagawa naman ng paraan. So nakaraos kami. Nalaman namin, kinuwento ng shepherd na nawawala yung dog niya. Kaya yung mga tupa papunta sa amin. Narealize ko dog. Sabi ko, Dominicanes. Parang diba si <laughs> St. Dominic, meron siyang, diba yun yung symbol niya, yung dream nung nung mother niya, di ba, na yung dog na may hawak na light, di ba? Tapos doon pa sa lugar kung saan yung, yung kung saan sinilang si Dominic, hindi siya pumayag na hindi masama yung shot na yun yata eh. Baka tinawag niya muna yung dog or hindi ko alam kung ano yung symbol nun. The film was shot in Spain and France. In the production were 13 Filipinos for principal photography and logistics. French and Spanish coordinators and other French staff members for the art and camera departments.
photography is like a prayer. When you pray, uh, you wait, you ask, um, and then one day you get your answer. Photography is also like that. You just have to wait, you just have to uh, seize the moment. Ilan lang kami na pumunta doon na hindi namin alam kung paano namin matatapos yun. Pero ayun eh, parang merong nag-touch sa heart namin na nagawa namin yun, na nagulat na lang kami, uy, nagawa natin, natapos natin. So, yun nga, kailangan mag-usap kami. Kailangan uh, pagkasunduan namin isang bagay na uh, sa tingin namin tama at saka makakadali sa amin. Uh, yun, yung, yung, yun yung isang pra, uh, factor siguro na malaki, yung nakikinig kami sa isa't isa. So what are you waiting for? Kid? One love is already enough for everybody. And that love is yung reason kung ba't namin ginawa yung film na to. So, yun yung parang pinaka-ripon effect, multiplication effect niya. So, every, everybody partook yung sa, ano na yun, sa, sa bread na yun, which is Dominic. Diba? Buhayin siya, ipakilala siya ulit sa tao. We've been uh, sustained by divine providence. And so, this is really a film, um, not only of the people behind the production, but I think this is the film of St. Dominic himself. He was behind the production was behind us all throughout the, the completion of the project because I think he deserves this.